Hey guys, welcome back to Growing Chronicles by Nicole. Today we are here with the founder of the Lupus Research Foundation, Judy Cooper, and her husband, Todd Bird. Hey guys. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thanks for taking a time to talk with us. Gosh, In the four seasons, Growing Club, we play here on the solo. This is so much fun. Thank you. Really yeah, let's do it. So, uh, let's jump right in. So, when did you start curling? How? Oh, okay. So, I've been curling. Me? Thanks for asking. <laughs> I've been curling my whole life since I was 11, actually, in Shelbrook, Saskatchewan. So, north of Saskatoon. It's something that Canadians do, especially in the winter. What else are you going to do in a small town? I'm kidding. But it's been part of my life since I was a kid. So, I'm passionate. I've been curling my whole life too, which is considerably longer than her. And I grew up, I, I, my family curled. My dad was actually an ice maker in Mankato. Um, so I've been around it since I could walk. So, Reagan, can you tell us about the Research Foundation and why you decided to start it? Sure. Well, thank you guys. It's an honor that you would have us today and care about our cause and our foundation. So, I have lupus, I have systemic lupus, which is the organ involvement kind. And for me, it was my kidneys that were affected. And I was really sick. I was on chemotherapy for two and a half years. Yeah, it's kind of surprising, isn't it? I, I was shocked too when I first found out. I was like, what? But it suppresses your overactive immune system, which is what lupus is, because it attacks healthy tissue by mistake. So we always wanted to do something to help people with lupus. And we were focused on being able to fund research and being able to fund whatever researcher we wanted to fund. So in order to have that say, we developed the Lupus Research Foundation and Todd and I together. And it's been going strong eight years since. Wow. Yeah. So Todd, how uh, is the work with uh, you and Megan uh, connected to Grill? Like, how did you work with Kevin Martin and his uh, Well, so, it's, so yeah, Regan and I met through Caroline. Um, actually, I was playing in the trials in 2009 uh, in Denver, and Regan was living in Denver, and she was the anthem singer for that event. And so that was really the first time we met. Um, Kevin Martin was actually, Regan just like everybody, just called him up. Just an absolute cold call, said, hey, you want to come to our bond school? And it's snowballed since. Yeah, it was such a blessing. So. Um Actually, before we started the Lupus Research Foundation, we started up the Pro-Am, the Lupus Wheel, and it was successful, so that was in 2014. And so a few years went by, and we were funding other lupus organizations, and that's when we decided we wanted to do more ourselves. So that's why we started the Lupus Research Foundation. So a couple years after that, after the Lupus Wheel started, is when we got involved with Kevin Martin. I made the call, and he said, sure, I'd love to come help. And he's been an amazing support and proponent since then. So, in addition to your work with the Lucas uh, Research Foundation, Todd, you're the head ice maker um, for the Four Seasons Pro Club, which you're on right now. Um, and you are a speaker among many things. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, how do you balance all of that? We don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been, it's busy. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're trying to work it all out. It's been actually so when I moved up into the role uh, as director here, also as well as ice maker a couple of years ago, and so we're still really trying to figure that out and, and get enough staff and, and get enough time to make it all work. Um, you know, but you just you kind of do what you have to do. Uh, currently, as a year-round sport, is one of the few year-round facilities in the states where there's a lot of demand in the summer and the off season. So yeah, it's just busy. Yeah, and. I think that the love of curling, I mean, I know he loves it, so we don't do what we do. And you guys are getting into it so deeply right now, and you've been doing it quite a few years yourself. We don't stick with something like this unless we really love it, right? So it's the marrying of the passion, like the cause, with curling, really, I think, is my juice or motivator. And, and I don't really think there's, there really should be balance either. Sometimes you feel more balanced, and sometimes you feel the scales tip in another direction. That's okay, yeah. nobody's perfect, nobody's got a full handle on balance. But I think most things that we do, and certainly most things we talk about are related to this and curling and the other things we do, like the speaking. So everything we do interweaves together. And I know they're separate businesses, but they're also all interweaved. 
it's like going to a ball game where you feel like you're, you know, in, in, in a good party with everybody else. Yeah, you have that, yeah, that feeling of camaraderie and Yeah, you're weaving all these things together, which makes life fulfilling. So, Todd, the Florida season is fairly important implies that it's here all year round, right? Yeah. So, like, how do you melt the ice uh, and for how long? Sure. So, yeah, we do, we take it out every year, take it out uh, around the 4th of July. Um, and really, it's just a matter of turning off the grind, uh, just letting it melt on its own. Um, it takes maybe three days. I could probably have it out quicker if I really had to, but just letting it melt three days, the dehumidifier heat up a lot of it. And then we squeeze it out and dry it up with um, some floor scrubbers, and then I'm putting it right back in. Um, this year, I don't, what did I, I don't, I forget. It, it all runs together. I think if I had to turn it around as quickly as possible, probably 10 days, I could take it out and put it back in. Reagan, how can the Crown community get more involved in the small and sweet shirt? Well, stuff like this is amazing. So our uh, mission is to help raise awareness about lupus and funds for research. So talking about it, sharing it with others, sharing the, the beautiful video you guys are making for us today is huge. Looking up what lupus is. I just talked to Greg Smith. He messaged me. Uh, he's a skip. He's played the Briar before. He's a skip um, in Canada, Newfoundland. And he just said he's just been looking up what lupus is because he was here for lupus spiel. So we really appreciate when all our players and our skips and the interesting skips look it up and share. The second thing you can do is share with us any contacts you might have with people who might need help with lupus, or maybe there are some people who can help share the word about lupus, you know, public figures and things like that. Of course, you can always donate, and if people want to donate all their money directly to research, we can facilitate that. We're proud of that. So those are the good three things. Awareness, time, talent, treasure. It's all really impactful. Has helped tremendously. So thank you very much for helping with that. So Todd and Megan, how often do you both curl? Oh, less than less. <laughs> um, there was a time when I curled. In fact, uh, my record is I curled like it was. Now I forget. I should call. I should have had this number at tip my fingertips here. Um, I think it was 33 days in a row that I played a game every day. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was my longest stretch. Uh, but yeah, in, in recent years, we haven't played much. And in fact, mixed doubles, we're probably not going to play this year. Uh, just too much else going on. Uh, we're here, but we do throw rocks occasionally and just, just for fun. Yeah, it, it's been fun to play mixed doubles with Todd. I've learned so much. And uh, we probably won't play this season, but we'll probably do some funny tournaments around because we like curling. We think that we have some skill at it and we get to know each other that much better. Even though we're married, I think that mixed doubles are the best disciplines you can play to build team building skills. What do you think about that? Yeah, uh, what do we say here? <laughs> See, it's working already. <laughs> So, Todd, what are your favorite <laughs> moments from the Kevin Martin Curling Academy? Uh, there's a lot of them. Um, it was a, you know, it's a, it's always a bit of a tornado. Uh, it's something when you're when you're putting together something like that that you haven't put together before, and so kind of making it all up as we go along. Um, but it was just, I thought it was a lot of fun dealing with both the, the junior teams and the adult teams. Um, it was nice to sit down with them, talk to them after the games or after the the sessions back in the hotel room. I thought that was a really great idea that in the hospitality, have the hospitality yeah. room for that. Um, yeah, just I think just hanging out with people. Yeah, and just watching Kevin and his element again, I think he's a born teacher. Don't you guys? You took the thing. Yeah. He's got a heart for people of all ages and I think he's meant to be an educator, top of the sport, top of the field, and he will be. And we're just lucky to have him and support our cause. But then as a curler, I enjoy his clinics. I've taken them before as well as helped, you know, facilitate them and host them. I have been very helped by the drive part of the delivery and some other technical components of my delivery that have changed, changed it immediately. But I just, like you taught, I enjoy hearing the feedback and hope that everybody found good value in it. And I think we've been hearing only positive feedback so far. We just want people to come back. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun to watch the educational sessions and how Kevin teaches the sessions, but how he also helps us learn how to share the education. So it's the trainer trainer as well. Very good communicator. Yeah. How can people 
That is that, that is a fantastic question. Thank you. So, right, we deal with the general population. That's part of my work in speaking. I speak to different groups, voters, medical organizations, medical university, South Carolina, Lucas Foundation, Northern California, and people all in between to spread the word about this. So, yeah, uh, businesses that want to bring somebody in just to learn a little bit about it for a lunch and learn, we do a lot of those, which is fantastic. So the people know of organizations or at their own company or they lead their own company and want a little talk or topic about this or uh, dealing with struggles, including a chronic condition, um, please have us come in. That would be a very, very helpful. We also have a golf tournament every year. Year number five of the Four Trust for Lucas Golf Tournament. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. And we're starting the pickleball tournament. And we're running healthy with Lucas. So uh, the other groups that tend to help us are uh, sporting community uh, um, companies that want to spread about what we do, which is through sport and healthy living, we spread the awareness about Lucas. Last but not least, what is a fun fact about yourself that not Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> what? I, uh, well, I didn't, my family did. We raised baby raccoons. Um, as pets for years and years and years. We had, I, I can't even count the number of little pet raccoons we had over the years. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So they're adorable and. <laughs> What's a fun fact about me? I don't know. I don't know. What's a fun fact about you guys that people don't know? <laughs> and then I'll answer. I gotta think about it. Okay. Um, we're active. Active. Oh. Activists, do you have a particular cause or do you just help shine a light on other people's causes like I'm doing today? Well, there's a lot of things that we can get to the school for not have access to education. Actors. Uh, it's awesome. We're a part of SAG After. Oh, great. And, and yeah, we're try also trying to get more kids involved in the sport. Right? So, okay. so you do outreach to some youth groups. Okay, just like that. Let us know how we can help you too. And also explain the arts. The arts are so important. Yeah, I agree. Oh, so there you go. That's a fun fact about me is I love to sing and move play. Yeah. I, I just love music. I love it so much. That's even a great fact. So actually, one of these days, we're going to finally launch another uh, goal of mine, which is something called Lyrics for the Muse. We want to throw a music event to raise awareness. Well, thank you so much for thank you. all you guys did for this uh, and the crowd for me. So, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Have you guys ever seen uh, Between Two Ferns? I've not. I think it's on YouTube. Look that up. I think it'd be right up your alley. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. But they could have, instead of two ferns beside them, they could have what? Some kind of like a curling? Yeah. It's just it's a little 10, 15 minute clips of what's the comedian. Uh, Zach Ganifalakis. Yeah, and he does little right? interviews. And that's, I think he does. Yeah, he's, fun. he's a funny movie <laughs> actor too. Um, oh, the uh, campaign. That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's quite funny. But yeah, thank you guys for all you do and helping us spread the word about our mission. Oh, sure. Good curling. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll do it again.